want to say greetings and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in Mama Africa and greetings and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Now in this video I want to be talking about those people who are planning to relocate to live in Africa and maybe you don't have any contacts in Africa um, for those as I said in my one of my previous video before you actually relocate it's best to go to that country even if it's one or two times couple of times just to get the feel of of you know how you're gonna feel it in the future because that country may be for you it may be not for you because there's 54 countries in Africa and a country that I might you know don't have a problem with let's say for example Uganda I might love it in Uganda I don't have any problem in Uganda you might have a problem with Uganda or you might prefer living in Gambia Ghana or another country so it's best to at least visit the country one or two times um, and you know for those that plan to relocate as I said and you got no contact in Africa this um, suggestion would be you know um, let's say like an Airbnb Airbnb um, is a good way to start to build up some contacts because if you stop in an Airbnb for example remember who you stopping with remember the people who you stopping with they would be try and do their best to help you with anything because remember you know they want you to recommend them and they said the best promotion is word about so they are the best person to ask if you want information about that particular country and most Airbnb hosts are very helpful I've stopped, in, I've stopped in some Airbnb myself but I've never stopped in Airbnb from I've been going to Africa but um, I am planning next year if life spare to um, visit four African countries and when I do you know I will be stopping in the Airbnb so that is a great contact and let's say you ask the host for some information and they can't help you because you're planning to relocate um, to that particular country in Africa um, obviously they, they have contacts themselves so they would either ask a friend you know and they would obviously get advice because remember you know these people will help you in the best way they can and it's good as well to also look for Airbnb that have three four five star um, ratings and you must always read the reviews and see what people have said so yeah you know as I said it's for those that don't have any contact in Africa and you can build up your contact because remember you know these Airbnb um, hosts in Africa you know let's say for example you may be looking for a job you know you don't have any contacts maybe you need certain documents you know visas you know to stop in the country for a good while probably in the future you like to be permanent in the country it's best to talk to the Airbnb and exchange information with them and telephone number or email or whatever anyway you beautiful lovely people out there thanks for watching